Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cracking Packs with Josh, where today's episode, we're going to be cracking into some uh, flesh and blood. Um, this is a card game that I've been really looking forward to. Um, I teased it all the way back in the Super Mom Mega episode, uh, where if you didn't, go watch it. Um, I did like a two hour episode dedicated to my mom. Um, but yeah, we got a deck box. We also got some packs to look forward to. And um, one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to check out this card game is because it came out um, pretty recently, like tail end of 2019. And it's really interesting to see how much some of these cards are worth. Like, um, obviously, I don't think I have any like first edition packs, but like, oh yeah, you can't really see that. But there's this guy over here. As low as five hundred dollars, <laughs> and as high as nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> and yeah, my lord! Like for a card game that just came out, like not even two years ago. Like it's pretty nuts. Um, I've also seen um a first edition box of this set. Uh, Welcome to Wraith. Sell online for like a thousand five hundred dollars, <laughs> and um, more importantly, I just wanted to check out a new card game. So, on today's Tuesday episode, we're gonna be checking this out, and then we'll eventually crack into these guys. Um, so let's start off with the deck. Um, when I did tease that one card, um, actually, you know what? Here, let me go show that one card real quick. Because, just in case if you didn't see the episode, oh wait, wait, wrong binder? Uh, I'm sorry, two seconds. Um, was the boom? Yes, here we go, okay. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong binder. But we teased this card... Um, Harmonize Kadachi. Um, once per turn, attack something. I don't know what the red dot is. <laughs> um, have a card in your pitch zone with cost zero. Gains, go again. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, they gave that to me as a promo card. Um, actually, hold on. Before we go into this, how can I tell the rarity? Um, but yeah, you see down there came out in 2019, and yeah, I'm not 100% sure how much this card is, but I mean, I'm sure it's not too much, <laughs> but still, it's a nice little promo card. But yeah, I've been really looking forward to this set because I, um, I ended up buying a, a, two different boxes of this like booster boxes um, because I just wanted to check them out uh, I found a website that was selling them for a really good deal and yeah oh come on you're not gonna be easy are you oh there we go because yeah I can't stress that enough <laughs> the first edition box for this card game that came out in 2019 was selling for a thousand five hundred dollars, <laughs> which is fucking nuts. Okay, let's see what we got here first. Uh, Heroes Handbook. Um, okay, making a hero. Game side up. Resource points. Action points. Okay. See, my guess is this is gonna be fairly close to Magic, right? Like they have types. Classic card types. Life. And hand size. Start the game with this many cards in your hand. Oh, okay. So I guess you kind of play it like commander or something. Um, okay, yeah. So you have your hero weapons. Um, I guess these are like equipments. I guess these are, yeah, your deck, graveyard, uh, exile. Still don't know what pitches. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll keep an eye on this. I also think I'm going to keep this deck box together. Just because 
like eventually once uh COVID's over, I would like to play with this. So I'm here. So this is our hero for this deck. Katsu the Wanderer. Man, I could go for some chicken katsu. Um <laughs> Uh, when attack action card you control hits, you may discard a card with cost zero. If you do, search your deck for a card with combo, banish it face up, and then shuffle your deck. You may play it this turn. Okay. Sure. Alright. And then we just got regular Katsu. Ninja Hero Young. Oh, so do you like Evolve him or something? Attack action card control hits... Yeah, so that's the same effect, except it has weaker life. Okay, sure. Interesting. And oh, hey, look, look what we got. Harmonized Kadachi. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, I already have one of these sleeved, so I'm probably just gonna leave this one in here. And yeah, it's not super rare because there's another one. Okay. Uh, Iron Rot Helm, Blade Break. If you defend with Iron Rot Helm, destroy it when the combat chain closes. Okay, sure. Um, heart and Cross Strap. Destroy Heart and Cross Strap. The next attack action you play this turn costs two red less to play. Go again. Okay. So, yeah, I imagine that this is either, um, like, close to magic, like, these are the different, like, energies or something. Um, or that's a shield. What is that? Okay. Uh, breaking scales. Destroy breaking scales. Target action. Gain a card with combo one. Gains one yellow. Plus one yellow. If you defend with breaking scales, put a minus one shield. Oh, okay. It's like different kinds of tokens. Sure. Um, iron rot legs. Blade break. If you defend with it, destroy it when the combat chain closes. Okay. Uh, blackout kick. Ooh, dude, look at that art. Fuck, yeah, man. See, this is another reason why I wanted to check this out, because the art looked hella cool. Um, rising knee thrust was the last attack this combo chain. Blackout kick gains three, plus three, uh, yellow. Okay. So you could, like, combo shit. Okay. That sounds cool. Alright, another blackout kick, another blackout kick. Uh, Fluster Fist? Okay. Uh, if, if Open the Center was the last attack, this combo chain gets one plus one yellow for each attack that has hit this combo chain. Okay. Yeah, see, this seems pretty interesting. Like, the fact that you don't have to worry about, like, having a bunch of, uh, creatures. You kind of just have to focus on your one main hero. It seems really cool. Uh, head jab, go again. Okay. More head jabs, more head jabs, more head jabs. Uh, leg tap. Okay. And then go again. <laughs> more leg tap, more leg tap, more leg tap. Um, Open the center. Oh yeah, he, he was talking about that. If head jab was the last attack, this combo chain. Open the center gains plus one. Go again and dominate. Defending hero... Can't defend open the center with more than one card from their hand. Oh, okay, so you can, like, you can, like, counter actions as well. Like, if I play this and then somebody was like, oh, I'll defend with this, but then it's like, oh, haha, open center can't do that. Okay, that seems cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this deck together just so I can check it out, because I really want to play with this. Um, but then again, I haven't heard much of this, so who knows if anybody will play with me. <laughs> um, so Rising Knee Thrust, combo if Lake Tap was the last attack this combat chain. Rising Knee gains plus two yellow, and go again. Okay. Uh, more Rising Knee Thrust, Rising Knee Thrust, uh, Surging Strike. Again, look at that art. Shit looks amazing. Uh, just go again. Yeah, go again, go again. A uh, whelming gust wave, sure. If surging strike was the last attack, this combo chain gains plus one. Go again, and if this hits, draw a card. Okay, sure. Seems simple enough. Again, I love this art. Like, damn, look at that. 
Uh, scar for scar, when you play scar for scar, if you have less green, the hell is that? Less green something than your opponent gains go again? Okay. I don't think we've seen any green yet. Because all these cards have been like reds and yellows. Um, okay, scar for scar, scar for scar. More leg tap, more leg tap. More rising knee thrust. More surging strike. Ooh, springboard somersault. Okay. That's cool. Springboard somersault is played from Arsenal. It gains plus two shield. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm sure once I play this, a lot of this will make more sense. Uh, Fluster Fist, already seen it. Um, head Jab, already seen it. Do, do, do. Welming Gust Wave, already seen it. Um, Flick Flack? Excuse me? Ninja Defense Reaction. Oh, okay. So yeah, this would be like a defense card. If the next card you defend with this turn is a card with combo, gains two shield. Um, Silver Flashes Under the Pale Moonlight. Wait, focus. Blade Slicing Through Air as... As Ira twisted and turned, narrowly avoiding their ambush. Okay, wait, have I not been paying attention? Do these cards have flavor? Because <laughs> I feel like that's the first card we had with flavor on it. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's something to look forward to, because I always like, um, especially in Magic, with like how they tell story. Or they the cards tell a story, especially with um with like a certain series of cards. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. Check that out. And again, look at that art. Hell yeah! Didn't realize that person was upside down. <laughs> uh, but again, look at that. That's cool. All right, and more flick flack. Uh, more flick flack. More flick flack. Scour the battlescape. Dude, look at this fucking art. Look at that. That's beautiful. Damn, dude. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. If you do draw a card, Sky of the Battlescape is played from Arsenal. Gains go again. Neat. Okay. More Scour. Um, Wounding Blow? Okay. Sure. Uh, farm hands, villagers, and slaves. Easily replaceable wretches that must be taught the joys of obedience. It's not cool, man. But again, look at that art. Damn. Damn. <laughs> this shit's nuts. I'm really excited that we're finally looking at this. Um, Lunging press. Target action gains one yellow. Sure. More lunging press. Lunging press. Uh, energy potion. It costs an action point to put energy potion into the arena. Energy Potion stays in the arena until used. Instant. Destroy Energy Potion. Gain to red. Okay. Oh, I get it. So I guess reds are what you use to cast stuff. Um, but I don't know how... Like, because... Yeah, and Signal... Or Sigil of Solace. Gain one... Is that a shield? Or is that green? That's green. Okay. Um, but yeah... That's interesting. Because I assumed that this would be a game with, like, energy and stuff, but it's like, this deck didn't come with any energy. So I wonder if it's like, um, like Hearthstone or something? Like, where you, like, each turn you get an extra, uh, in Hearthstone it's like an extra little crystal that you use or something? Um, but yeah. I'd be really interested in checking out this game... And I'm going to keep this deck box together, just so we can play it. Yeah. Um, and again, this little mini handbook isn't all that big, so be a quick read. But yeah, okay. Um, Alright, so let's get into these packs. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. It's a ninja-themed deck. Um, Outmaneuver your enemy with a flurry of perfect coordinated kicks and punches. Travel land, Kadachi in hand, as wandering Ronin of mysterious origins. 
Ooh, mysterious. Okay. All right. So let's check out these packs. Um, let's start with. Actually, you know what? We'll save Pretty Lady for last. We'll d do these ones first. Um, but yeah. So again. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me grab my sleeves first. <laughs> Just in case if we pull one of these cards that's like a thousand dollars. Which, who knows? Anything's possible. And that's the thing, like, even some of these on the low end, it's still like 90 bucks. Um, some tunic is like 210 Like, holy shit, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see what these are all about. Okay, so you got Anathos, just a big ol' hammer, once per turn, you can spend three red to attack, if you have two more cards in your pitch zone, with cost three red or greater, gains two yellow. Okay, Guardian Hammer two-hand, oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh, wait, what? Was that the rare? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, again, I'm not 100% sure what the, um, what the rarity is. Uh, shit. I don't know. Oh, hey, it's Katsu. Yeah. Wait, was Katsu in there a flip card? Weird. I did not notice that at all. Okay. I'm gonna have to check that out again. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's Katsu, and then a hammer on the back. Real interesting. So that would lead me to assume that this might be the rare? Or like any heroes would be the rare? But I don't know. I might put that in the deck. Okay, so let's check out what the else this has. Uh, Demolition Crew? Um, okay. <laughs> what is going on in this art? Like, <laughs> as the cost to play, Demolition Crew, reveal a card in your hand with cost two red or greater. With Dominate, Defending Hero can't defend de Demolition Crew with more than one card from their hand. Interesting. Okay. Uh, scarf for a Scar. Seen it. Uh, Flock of the Feather Walkers. Okay. As additional cost to play, Flock of the Feather Walkers. Reveal a card in your hand with cost red or less. Um, create a Quicken Aura Token. With when you play an attack, action card or attack with a weapon, destroy Quicken then the attack gains go again. Okay. So I assume it's like... Go again means like, okay, you if you have something else to play, you can just keep going. So it seems like that's how you can work up combos. That's interesting. I like that. And I assume quicken means like haste or something. But then again, what the fuck do I know? Uh, Scour the Bowscape, seen it. Iron Rot Helm, seen it. Warrior's Valor... Okay, your next weapon attack this turn gains three yellow, and if this hits, the attack gains go again, and this has go again. Oh, okay. Magister's voice filled the departure halls as the blessing of soul washed over them. Okay, cool. That one's a warrior card. Okay, yeah. Uh, Fluster Fist, seen it. Ooh. Mugenshi Release. Oh, oh, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I'm not seeing this anywhere, but... Uh, Katsu specialization? You can only have Mugenshi release in your deck if your hero is Katsu. Oh, okay. I might consider putting that in the Katsu deck. Oh, and look at the foil! Ooh! Ooh, that's a pretty foil. Okay, is this the rare? Um, S? Okay. That might be the rare. Okay. A uh, combo. If Whelming Gust Wave was the last attack this combo chain, Mugeshi Release gains one yellow, go again, and if this hits, search your deck for any number of cards named Lord of Wind. Okay. Reveal them, put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay. Dude, that's cool. Okay. Um, I'm eventually going to put that in the deck. But right now... I feel like sleeving it and putting it in the binder. Um, 
Yeah, because look at that. I like I like how subtle the foil is on that. Like, you can... Like, yeah, look at that. And I also like the, um... Like, the border. Like, a lot of the di other cards didn't really have that kind of border on it. But, dude, that's sick! Hell yeah, man. Alright, nice. Okay. So now I can assume that the rares are going to be, like, in the middle of the pack. And then a hero is going to be the on the end. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, Crush Confidence. Okay, Crush. If Crush Confidence deals four more damage to a hero, they lose all hero cards effect and activate abilities until the end of their turn. Damn, okay. Treat the... Come on, car, focus. All right, yeah. Uh, treat the hero card as if the text box is empty. Damn, okay. Sure. Smash Instinct. Damn, look at that art. Intimidate. So here, banishes face down a random card from their hand. At the beginning of the end phase, return all cards banished this way to their owner's hand. Whoa! So, like, it's a flash, but it's... Or, no, not a flash, but it's, a like, a bounce. But it's not instantaneous? Okay. Follow one's instinct may be ill-advised. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, buckling Blow. Uh, crush. Deals deals four more damage to a hero. Put a minus one shield on target equipment they control. Okay, sure. Uh, primeval Bellow. Damn, look at that art. Additional cost to play Primeval Bellow. Discard a random card. Your next Brute Attack this turn gains five yellow. And go again. Okay. Uh, driving Blade. Okay. Um, your next weapon attack this turn gains one yellow and go again with go again. Our arms protect the great city and all who live within Lieutenant Tamarius. Okay. Uh, leg Tap, seen it. And Biting Blade. Sure. Weapon gains, or target weapon gains three yellow. Reprise, if defending hero is defended with a card from the hand, this chain link. Weapons you control gain one yellow until end of turn. Okay, sure. Nice. Okay. And then this guy was what was on the end. Katsu still has the same ability as the Wanderer. But I guess he was a shield, uh, a hammer on the back? Hold on. My curiosity is getting the better of me. I want to double see if I'm, double check if I missed that. Um. No. Weird. Okay, but this backing is... Okay, so Katsu Young. Best experience for learning. Quick 15 to 20 minute games. And The Wander for advanced games. Oh, okay. Sure. Alright. Interesting. Yeah. So I was really surprised to see that card didn't have a, a um, the card backing on it. Like, everything else is like, boom, flesh and blood. <laughs> then this one's a hammer on the back? Interesting. You know what? Maybe I'll sleeve that, too. Just because I feel like it. Okay. Let's see what else we get. So, are these packs, like, sectioned out by class? or Because I feel like we got a lot of the the same cards we got from the deck in this one. But there was also, like, Warrior and Brute. So who knows how these are set up. And I don't know. I also like going into these things blind. Just to see what they're all about. Um, okay. So Demolition Crew. Seen it? Uh, what is that? Nimbleism? Uh, target... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, the next attack action card with cost red or less, or one red or less. You play this turn, gains one yellow. Go again. Sure. Scar for Scar. Seen it. Uh, unmovable. If unmovable is played from the arsenal, it gains one shield. Generic defense reaction. Okay. Uh, breaking scales. Cool. Um. Okay. Uh, attack Reaction, destroy breaking scales, one with... Oh, wait, no, we've seen this. Yeah, we've seen this. 
Uh, time snap potion action destroy time snap potion gain two action points and only a slight chance a temporal dis dissoci dissociation Lanabelle okay uh, we got staunch response additional cost to play it you may pay four red if you do staunch response gains three shield whatever comes we must not falter Ragnar frost helm okay <laughs> Um, ooh, what is this? Barraging Beatdown. Okay. Oh, and look at the foil on that. Again, very subtle. I really appreciate that. Like, yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay. Um, your next Brood Attack this turn gains... If this attack is defended by less than two non-equipped cards, gains four yellow. Intimidate. Target hero banishes face down a random card from their hand. At the beginning of the end phase, return all cards banished this way into their owner's hand. Go again. Okay. Nice. Um, I don't think this is anything. Um. Hold on, sorry. There's a couple of cards down here that are like $10. And then after that, it's like... Okay, yeah. So there's a couple of like big ones. Oh, that time snap potion was like a buck. Okay. Oh, market price eight dollars. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I might, I might sleep that too. <laughs> um, but yeah. See, so yeah, I'm getting these prices off a of TCG player. Um, if there's anything I should sleeve, let me know. <laughs> um, but then again, I'm not a hundred percent sure if anybody's played this game or even heard of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. I think I'm gonna sleeve that time to that potion too. Um, energizing power. Okay, look at this dude doing some curls. I guess. Um, aura stay in the arena until they're destroyed. Go again. Beginning of your action phase. Destroy energizing power. Then the next guardian attack action card you play this turn gains one yellow. Cool. Okay. Awakening bellow. My God, look at this dude. Freaking ogre brute. Look at that. Next brute attack action card to play this turn gains three yellow with intimidate and go again. Okay. Sure. Nice. Uh, debilitate. Cool. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to go through all these cards one more time just to see the pricings of them and which ones to sleeve and whatnot. Um, crush. If debilitate deals four more damage to the hero, their first attack during their next turn has minus two yellow. And at that moment... Flanagan knew failure was close at hand. Okay. <laughs> Sucks for Flanagan. Uh, Primeval Bellow. Uh, we seen it. Yeah. Uh, Sharpen Steel. Uh, who is she? She's beautiful. Um, next weapon attack. This guy gains three yellow. Go again. Sure. Rising Knee Thrust. Seen it. Uh, stroke of Foresight. Okay. Target weapon attack. Ta sorry. Target weapon attack. Gains three yellow with reprise. If the defending hero is defended with a card from their hand, this chain link, draw a card that put the card from your hand on top of or bottom of your deck. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. So, like, you can scry a little bit. And we got Reinar. Reinar? Reinar? Reinar. Brute hero young. When you discard a card with six or more yellow during your action phase, intimidate. Target hero banishes. Okay, yeah. Um... Okay, so that's interesting. Instead of a shield, he's got gr green. And instead of yellow attack, he's got blue. Weird. Okay. And then does he have a back? Dor Dorinthia. Who is she? Okay. Uh, once per turn... Uh, once per turn effect, when your weapon attack hits, you may attack an additional time with that weapon this turn. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And then again, this one has a green defense and blue attack, which maybe means they're spellcaster or something. I don't know because uh, all of the um, all of the ninja cards that we saw, they were all uh, they were all shield down here at the bottom and yellow for attack. Interesting. Okay, yeah, you're getting a sleeve. Yeah. Okay. 
And again, like I said, I'm going to go through all of those one more time just to see if and when I should have sleeved any of them. Um, I'm not seeing any of the hero cards up here, so I mean, they're probably pretty, uh, pretty common. But then again, what the fuck do I know? Uh, Unmovable, seen it. Uh, Scour the Ballast Escape, seen it. Sink Below. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck if you do draw a card. Those blessed with Aether have an incredible gift, the power to shape the fabric of reality. Cool, nice. Yeah, I'm playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV and dealing with all their Aether stuff. <laughs> um, Barraging Bronhide. If Barraging Bronhide is defended by less than two non-equipped cards, gains one yellow. Okay. Uh, Iron Rock Gauntlet. I don't think we saw the gauntlet. If defended with Iron Rock Gauntlet, destroy it when the combat chain ends. Okay. Um, signal... Sigil of Solus, I think we've seen it. Uh, Warrior's Valor, turn one, if this hits, then go again. I think so. Magister's Voice Field, yeah, yeah, we've seen this. Uh, Lake Tap, seen it. Wretch, Wrecker Romp? Wrecker Romp, okay. Additional cost to play Wrecker Romp. Discard a random card. Savage Rule of the Jungle, only the strong survive. Okay. Oh, wait, was that a foil, Lake Tap? Wait, is that right? Oh, it is! Sick. Foil leg tap. Nice. Yeah, I just noticed that when I put it down. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Okay, yeah. Uh, energizing power, seen it. Uh, pack hunt, sure. Intimidate. Um, read that already. Uh, horrific beasts lurk within the shadows. Their gaping maw is dripping with blood. Cool! <laughs> Uh, Sharpen Steel, who is she? Uh, open the center. Combo, if Head Jab was last... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this. This was in the deck. Yeah. Uh, stroke of Foresight, gains three, and Reprise. I think we've seen this? But look at that art. Hell yeah, man. Nice. Okay. Uh, Rising Knee Thrust, seen it. We got Rygar again. And on the back... Harmonized Kadachi. Oh, okay. Interesting. So it's not always the same thing on the back. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Alright. So yeah, those were the packs. Um, Let me show you what we got so far, and then I'll go through the rest of them off camera and see which ones else we're going to sleeve. Um, so we got Reinar, and on the back we got more Kadachi. Uh, we got the foil leg tap, which is cool. We got other Rhinar and uh, Pretty Lady, Dorinthia. We got that time snap potion, which wasn't uh, which wasn't foil, but um, is like eight bucks, something like that. Um, we got the foil barraging beatdown, nice. Uh, we got Katsu. And on the back, we got the hammer. And then we also got this guy, which was the Mugenshi release. Yeah, good, good shit. So yeah, um, good episode. Um, again, I'm going to check out the rest of the prices to see if there's anything else that I missed that I should have sleeved. But, um, but yeah, this was a nice episode. Um, I was really looking forward to this because I bought these like months and months ago. And funny enough, um, the couple of times that I've been to Anime Import since then, um, I haven't really seen them selling any of these. So like, the only ones I've been able to find are online. But I do have a couple of, uh, I have like one box, one more box of Welcome to Wraith. And then I have one of a different set that came out. So um, we'll probably do those on another Tuesday episode. And yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Uh, subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on Thursday. For, uh, I think, Pokemon? Yeah, I think it'll be Pokemon. But um, yeah, uh... I'll see you guys later. Uh, bye. I love you. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there.